Well guys, I never thought I'd see this again. I'm on my friend Danny Carmel's boat. And uh, he invited me to sail with him here on the Sea of Galilee. The Sea of Tiberias in John 6-1, John 21-1. And here it is. In the Old Testament, it was called Lake Kinneret or what they would say in Hebrew, Kinor. Kinor is Hebrew for a harp because the lake is shaped like a harp. And as I said already, um, Jesus spoke 19 of his 32 parables here in the Galilee. And um, he performed 25 of his 33 miracles here in the Galilee. He walked on this very water. And then I'm reminded of Mark chapter four, where the storm came off the hills, stirred up the water. The disciples thought they were going to perish. They look at the Lord and they say, Lord, save us, we perish. The Bible says Jesus got up, rebuked the wind and the waves and they calmed. And the disciples said, what manner of man is this? that even though waves and the wind obey him and the uh, waters became calm just as you see him right now they're calm i just met the pastor of this of these people here from baptist bible college east in boston and uh they invited me to come with them i'm gonna have my tour group here with me april 23rd with danny carmel and uh we are right now sailing very middle of the Sea of Galilee here. For those of you coming to Israel with me next month, this is what you're going to experience that I experience every time I come here, the Galilee. And you know, when you think about the storms of life that we go through every single day, Yeshua can calm those very storms in your life if we only trust and obey, right? Psalm 55, 22, cast your burdens upon the Lord. He shall sustain thee. You shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Or 1 Peter 5, 8, cast in all your cares upon him because he careth for you. And so, here we are. I'm going to stand up for a minute and so take it all in. why you need to come to Israel to experience this very land for yourself of course I'm in Tiberias which was the capital of the Galilee under Herod Antipas 2,000 years ago and this very sea is called the Sea of Tiberias in John 6 1 in uh, John chapter 21 and verse number 1 and so it just makes the Bible come alive every time you come out here. And I'm so glad that I'm friends with Danny Carmel here. He's a Jewish believer. I am on his boat called um, Faith. Faith Imuna in Hebrew. And, um, you know, I don't understand why Christians would let the liberal media scare them into coming into this country. Or because there's a war going on somewhere else. It has nothing to do with this place. Does this look like a war to a country? Not at all. Not at all. This is such a peaceful, beautiful, majestic place. The Sea of Galilee. Kinoa, Kinneret in the Bible. Because the sea is shaped like a harp. And this is where our home's going to be for a thousand years. As the late Zola Levin would say, for a thousand years we're all going to be Israelis. And I hope that you would come to this very land. Come with us on one of our Bible prophecy tours right here to the land of Israel right here to Tiberias to the Sea of Galilee after two years I'm back in this land and I'm seeing my friend Danny Carmel over here and so uh, here he is right there he's a dear friend of mine he Hello. wants you to come back here and come on his Amen. boat I'm waiting for you here on the Sea of Galilee you hear that he's waiting for you he's waiting for you <laughs> he's waiting for you to come on his boat right here on the Sea of Galilee 
all right that's all i'm going to say i'm just going to take this in after two years of not being in the land and so this is august Rosado coming to you from tiberius the sea of galilee god bless you all